Hello, this is Cho of the Shiny Colors Discord, and welcome to another episode of the Shiny Review. Today, we have five cards that we need to talk about. Three new, two returning. A new Produce SSR for Hiyori, a Support SR for Jury, a Produce SR for Natsuha, and then a Support SSR for Hiyori, and Support SR for Meguru. Starting things off, we have Hiyori. SSR 5 Hiyori is certainly a card. In many ways, you can compare her to Mono 5, as they swap the primary and secondary attribute. However, Hiyori sacrifices 2-hit damage for more buffing potential, and very slightly higher base damage values for a single swing. Her memory appeal seems sort of underwhelming, considering many of the other permanent memory appeals that float around nowadays. If you didn't see her passives, you'd think she was a 2019 unit. Generally speaking, Hiyori will be a card that I don't highly recommend at all, simply for the fact that she doesn't offer a ton. Her potential 80% 3 turn buff on her 4 star appeal is relatively good, but we've also seen skills that are just as good if not better on pre-existing cards well before Hiyori's time. I would say pull if you're a fan of Hiyori, as with her passives, she maybe becomes the most currently useful Hiyori. Her primary role is buffer, and I don't really recommend pulling for her, she is a permanent so she may come around eventually for you. But if she's your favorite, go for it. Hiyori's initial appeal is a Vocal 3.0 that applies a Vocal Visual 25% buff for 3 turns, and links into a Vocal Visual 40% buff for 3 turns. At max, she gains a Visual 4.5 appeal that applies a 40% Vocal Visual buff for 3 turns, and links into a Vocal Visual 40% buff for 3 turns. Hiyori's 1-star passive is a Vocal Visual 25% up that requires an active Visual buff. This has a 20% chance to activate twice. She also unlocks a plus 50 Vocal uncap at 1 stars. For 2 stars, she gains 2 passives. The first is a Vocal Visual 45% up that requires an active Vocal buff. This has a 20% chance to activate twice. And the second is a Vocal 20% up that requires the turn count to be 3 or earlier. This has a 50% chance to activate twice. Her 3 star uncap is a Vocal Visual plus 100, and her 4 star uncap is a Visual plus 150. Her memory appeal, once maxed out, is a Vocal Visual 80% up for 3 turns and links into a Vocal Visual 1.5 appeal. For the support recommendations, the recent limited Mono along with 2019's limited Meguru are a reasonably strong combination for this Hiyori. Your remaining supports will depend heavily on the playstyle you want with Illumination Stars, whether you want more buffing or stalling, maybe you want some multi-stat, who knows. As for alternatives, SP generation as always, though you can also choose to include cards like Limited Rinze if you want to accommodate for rainbow-esque builds. Mix and match till you find something that you feel works. As for team recommendations, I'll be honest, I don't really believe in this team too much. Mono 5, Hiyori 5, and Meguro 3 all make sense for being vocal and visual, but I feel you just end up depending on whatever two characters you bring along for the ride. Cards like Madoka 2 and Toru 2, or Kiriko 4 and Sakuya 4 as pairs, would probably outperform all of the Illumination Stars cards, which is a little disappointing to say. Overall as a center, Hiyori gets a B-. Also sorry for not getting the Fess icon. I didn't pull for Hiyori, I didn't get Hiyori, so I wasn't able to get access to the icon early. I don't feel that Hiyori's memory appeal is anything too special. Perhaps if they decide that Meguru 6 is also a vocal visual combo card that can make full use of these buffs and passives, we could see the rise of a card like this as a center. But that also might mean that the Meguru, especially if she's limited, might be a better center. So, the damage here is ultimately much too low to really go crazy. She's not terrible, but she's not really fascinating either. As a unit, she earns anywhere from a B to an A-. minus. The main thing that you can take from this Hiyori is that her passives make her arguably the most relevant Hiyori since Hiyori 1. While her appeals aren't much to talk about, having modern passives on here are greatly appreciated if you're using a team that applies active buffs regularly. So keep that in mind if you decide to pull for extra copies, because she's going to need them badly. Next we have our SR, Jury. Jury's latest SR is much of what we've seen in the past for Hokago SRs. Decent-ish passives, a pretty good appeal, and she does have a scaling support appeal as a permanent SR, which is surprising to see on a banner like this. Her masteries are okay, if not a little underwhelming, so she serves as a decent pillar visual support. Her support skills are Idol's Bond, Promise Recovery, and Rest Boost, and her unique support skill is Visual Mastery Visual, reaching plus 9 at level 60. Her support appeal, as mentioned before, does scale, starting at a visual 2.0 at level 1, working its way to a 2.1 at level 60, and a 2.5 at level 80. 
Her TFD idea is visual, and her insight token for grad is dance. Jury's one-star passive is a visual 15% up that requires you to be in the visual position. This is a 30% chance to activate once. Her two-star passive is a visual 30% up and attention 50% up that requires the turn count to be three or earlier. This is a 30% chance to activate once. Her three-star uncap is a plus 50 to visual, and her four-star appeal is a visual 2.5 that applies two separate buffs. The first is a visual 30% up for three turns, and the second is attention 50% up for three turns. Her event passive is a visual 10% up that requires jury on your team, and it has a 30% chance to activate twice. Jury earns a B+. New SR jury is fine. Her attention up passive along with attention up appeal helps in building visual Hokago, though the best character for that team can't use this card on account of them both being jury. She's nothing necessarily crazy, but she's perfectly fine to build up over time, and I look forward to seeing more scaling support SRs as we move forward in shiny colors. I don't highly recommend pulling for jury unless you really want to read the commu, which it is pretty cute. And she is a permanent card, so she'll come around eventually. Next we have Natsuha, our event SR. The absolute power of Natsuha's outfit designs are easily the best things about this card, before we get started here. In terms of her actual functionality, Natsuha serves as a decent buffer point for Hokago players that need a little dance or visual in their life. Initially visual with the weaker passives, graduating to a dance unit with the better passives. Better is relative, as she is still an event SR. Having access to a decent amount of attention on her appeals is what really helps keep this Natsuha relevant to Hokago's interest. The three turn buffs are appreciated, but might feel underwhelming considering the multitude of buffing units that float around with much bigger values nowadays. Underwhelming really does feel like the theme of this video today, huh? Her memory appeal is surprisingly not bad for an SR, so consider her a budget budget center if you feel the need for one. Her roles are buffer and attacker, and I recommend farming for her. Natsuha's initial appeal is a visual 2.0 that applies two separate buffs. The first is a visual 20% up for three turns, followed up by an attention 30% up for three turns. This links into a visual 3.0 appeal. At max, she gains a dance 2.5 appeal that applies a 30% dance buff for three turns and 50% attention up for three turns. This links into a dance 3.0. Her one star passive is a dance 12% up that requires your mental to be 75% or higher and has a 40% chance to activate once. Her 2-star passive is a dance 24% up that requires the turn count to be 3 or earlier. This has a 40% chance to activate once as well. Her 3-star uncap is a plus 50 to dance, and her memory appeal when maxed out is a visual 1.0 that links into a visual 3.0. For the support recommendations, finding a mix of dance and visual will yield some great results. Naturally, the combo of Ban Choco with New Year's Rinze will be your go-to if possible, then you can include Antika cards like Mamimi, Yuika, or Kiriko for some potent passives. As for the alternatives, it's the same old same old. Some dance visual with SP Masteries to help keep the run moving steadily. The Meguru in question works pretty well if you pair her up with either of the Hyoris we recommend here. Natsuha as a center earns a B+. Natsuha's memory appeal is honestly fine. 4.0 visual on turn 5 isn't the worst place you can be as an event SR, so you can utilize Natsuha as a center in a pinch. As a unit, B-. Her appeals are okay, her passives are pretty underwhelming, again, continuing the theme here today. As mentioned before, Natsuha served perfectly fine as a filler unit for dance or visual Hokago, with dance being her better team overall. Those teams haven't changed much, so take previous reviews as examples. Otherwise, she at least serves as a very powerful costume option once you farm her up to 4 stars for your other Natsuha cards. And now as we turn back the clock, we take a look at 2019 Hiyori. Jumping back to 2019, Hiyori's event support has not really aged gracefully. Primarily a visual unit with a splash of dance bonuses and some interest down, Hiyori is very much designed under the same philosophy as Captain Pumpkin Meguru, who we've talked about on the channel before. I'll link that video above. Hiyori can be useful for Collabo Fest, but that's usually about it, really. Her support skills are Idol's Bond, Promise Recovery, Rest Boost, and Stamina Support, and her unique support skill is Tension Mastery Visual, reaching plus 4 at level 80. Her support appeal scales starting at a visual 2.5, working its way up to a visual 3.0 at level 80. Her TFD idea is Appeal, and her Insight Token for Grad is Visual. Hiyori's 1-star passive is a visual 18% up that requires you to be in the visual position. This is a 30% chance to activate once. 
Her two-star passive is a visual 20% up and dance 15% up that requires the turn count to be three or earlier. This is a 30% chance to activate once. Her three-star uncap is a plus 50 to visual, and her four-star appeal is a slow visual 2.0 that applies one buff. Judge interest 50% up for two turns. Her event passive is a visual 6% up that requires Hiyori on your team, and it has a 40% chance to activate twice. Hiyori earns a C+. As I mentioned before, Hiyori offers not a whole lot for aspiring players nowadays, as many of her passives are either too weak or not useful enough to make a huge impact. Her tension mastery might as well not exist, and rest boost doesn't serve quite the purpose that most players truly need anymore. She's really good on collab with us, and that's what saves her from a D grade. Wait. I feel like I said this already. Oh well. You might as well farm for Hiyori while she's around. And for our last card today, we have Meguru. Another 2019 card, Meguru's event SR is a surprising level of bad. At first glance, her support skills aren't the worst thing in the world. Getting plus 7 in vocal and plus 6 in dance is tolerable. However, the more you look into the card, the more the issues stare back. I wouldn't personally recommend using this card outside of necessary event missions, but at least the story ties into one of Shiny's bigger story events, especially for 2019. Her support skills are Idol's Bond, Promise Recovery, and Rest Boost, and her two unique support skills are Vocal Mastery Vocal, reaching plus 7 at level 65, and Dance Mastery Dance, reaching plus 6 at level 60. Her TFD idea is Visual, and her Insight Token for Grad is Dance. Meguru's 1-star passive is a Vocal Dance 6% up that requires the turn count to be 4 or later. This is a 30% chance to activate once. Her 2-star passive is a Vocal Dance 12% that requires you to have more than 10 stars in order for it to activate. This has a 30% chance to activate once. Her 3-star uncap is a plus 30 to Vocal and Dance, and her 4-star appeal is a Vocal Dance 1.0 that applies a Vocal Dance 10% buff for 3 turns. And her event, uncap, is a Vocal Dance plus 20. Meguru earns a C-. Considering that Meguru was an event card designed within the first year of Shiny, there really isn't a whole lot you can expect from her. Definitely not a high priority, but if you're a Meguru fan or want some Illumination Stars content, picking up Meguru is totally fine. You might as well farm for her while she's around, since it's the same event as Hiyori. And that's going to do it for the video today. Thank you so much, as always, for watching. If you liked what you saw, make sure to like the video and share it around. It helps us grow the channel to be a little bit stronger than it was the day before. Next time we'll be talking about whatever banner comes next, and also look forward to the wing tutorial in the next couple of days. So, I've been Cho, thanks for watching, and have a wonderful rest of your day.